Research really matters because it's all about developing new knowledge about how the Earth works. So research really encompasses the arts, social sciences, engineering and environmental science. It pushes back the boundaries of knowledge and what we know and helps deliver a happier and healthy planet for us all to live in. In my day job I'm a glaciologist and I use satellite data to study how glaciers in Antarctica and Greenland are changing over time. In the last five years, there's been a complete revolution in how we can use satellite data to study planet Earth. There's been a new series of satellites funded by the European Space Agency and the European Commission called the Sentinel Series. And it means that we've moved away from having maybe one image of these remote locations per year to images guaranteed every single week. We can see whether an iceberg has carved, whether it's flowing differently, and that changes the types of questions that we can ask as researchers. We can start to investigate ocean impacts on, on ice um, and how fast it's causing melt to occur at weekly and monthly timescales, whereas previously we were limited by only being able to have one image per year. We can use satellite data to monitor the health of crops in fields around the UK. We can study the atmospheric content of our, the air that we breathe, including the levels of ozone or how polluted it is, how glaciers are evolving on these remote and inaccessible ice sheets. So that vast volume of data that now comes through to us, the challenge for us is can we process it all and, and how can we improve our algorithms to make sure that we um, learn everything that there is to know from this data we're now collecting. Antarctica is uh, an amazing place to do research and it's a real privilege that we get to go there as part of our scientific careers. When you first arrive on the continent um, you're in this tiny aeroplane and out the window you first catch a glimpse of these 3,000 metre high mountains with glaciers and ice rolling down directly into the ocean. The contrast of scale is hard to get a grasp of even when you're there in the field because there's no buildings, there's nothing, there's no context to kind of put this vast landscape into perspective. The aim of my visits has been to understand glaciological changes from measurements we can only collect in the field, but also to validate some of this fantastic data that we're collecting um, from space. It's one of the things we've come to understand in recent years is just how rapidly some of the changes can take place in the polar regions. Individual glaciers can speed up um, rapidly within the space of a year, and this means that more ice is flowing into the oceans, more ice is being lost, and therefore their sea level contribution will increase. What's going to be essential for us is to build up these valuable data sets that show how change has been occurring now so that we can more accurately predict what changes will occur in the future. Leeds is a fantastic place to be doing research because we've got world leading expertise in both earth observation science and also advanced computer techniques um, such as the use of AI or machine learning. It's these cross faculty collaborations that make my research career at Leeds so exciting. I'm able to work with environmental science experts and computer science experts which helps us be at the leading edge of the research that's being published today. I've been very grateful to receive support and funding from the donors to create really exciting PhD projects that very talented students in my group are now undertaking. PhD funding is essential for having a thriving research group, um, whatever your scientific field, and the demand from early career researchers to do these types of projects is phenomenal. So it enables them to um, have the experience of doing research, they get the opportunity to collaborate internationally with uh, research partners around the world, and it means that I hope we are together training the next generation of scientific leaders in, in this field. The papers that they publish as part of their research are answering the important scientific questions today. It's a joy to be able to mentor these talented young students through and to see them succeed in their careers going forward. Personally, really enjoyed having discussions with donors about the science that their contribution is funding. It's great to hear their enthusiasm for the research that they're funding and also to hear about their previous careers and how that's led to them making a decision to contribute. Um, I have over the last year developed a really interesting new opportunity to work with the Nexus team here at the University of Leeds. For me, the Nexus is all about bridging the gap between research and industry. It's enabling us to transfer the knowledge that we have within academia out into interesting projects that can lead to real world impact. The Nexus team and I at the University of Leeds have been working on Space Hub Yorkshire, which is a new organisation that will create a regional space hub for Yorkshire and Humber in collaboration with the Satellite Applications Catapult and the UK Space Agency. It's a fantastic time for Yorkshire. We've got world leading expertise in processing satellite data, in advanced high performance manufacturing, whether that's through developing new space technology and a way of processing data that creates a service, or whether it's through um, working with more manufacturing industrial partners to design a new piece of instrumentation or space hardware that might eventually be launched up into space. And so we hope that through um, Space Hub Yorkshire we'll be able to only strengthen those connections between the research community and businesses to develop, deliver prosperity for our region.